Hello, 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 hey, everyone. Uh, what is going on? James here, Jimmy C. Once again, coming at back, you, coming back at you. Uh, not with Mister Yes Man like last week. It's Mister It GC DW Boy fourteen. George. George. I, I know, I know, I can hear you. I'm just letting the silence go after that was said. But it, it's Mister A up time now. I'm looking forward to this. Hey, up and welcome to Gallon's Corner. Oh shit! Oh, oh, I completely botched that up. <laughs> you that up. Did, no, the is, when I when I click full screen on me, I, it like went to another window, and I thought, was it worked or is it just I don't know? <sighs> I have no idea if, if it works or not. Properly. I completely botched that one up. So let's just really start watching the video then. Yeah, so this is part one. Let's just keep it on for 36 minutes. Let's just keep it. <sighs> I, think, I think the third part's probably the best part. But Maybe. you haven't seen it yet, have you? No. I've actually watched a fair bit of this. Welcome to a very special video. I have boot and I'm about to put you on. What does he say? Oh. Hey, yo. Oh, yeah, that's welcome good. to Gallon's Court. Yes. Welcome to a very special video. I have boot and see, I'm about to take you. I don't see why he's got rid of the beard, man. He needs to get the beard back. I mean, he he look, you know, he looks like a normal bloke with or without the beard, but he looks far more, you know, cooler with the beard. You know, it, yeah, it looks, like, it looks like classic Callum with the beard because of the tickety tack, uh, tickety tack. Train went down the track. Yeah, that is an iconic video. Yeah, yeah. He's more iconic when he's got the big beard. Yeah. Am and I it would fit him more of me in being a gypsy in his caravan. When did he say a traveller was in his caravan? No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm saying he... The beard would suit him more because he's a, a gypsy in, in his caravan. Oh, okay. You won't even see when I attack. He, he, does, he does live in a caravan now. No, he lives in a big house, I'm pretty sure, but you've all made up in your heads that he lives in a caravan. Nothing, nothing it's wrong on wheels. with that. Nothing wrong with that at all, by the way. Like it's a, in, in today's property market in bloody in the in England, uh, and I guess the whole of the UK in general, you know, like a caravan is a smart, a sp somewhat smart decision when you think about it, because you can get a, fa a fantastic cap well, you can get a decent caravan. Uh, from eight, for 85 grand, you can't get a decent house for 85 grand, you know what I'm saying? The only issue with caravans is that uh, they could be sold, couldn't they? Like the land could be sold and you're gonna have to move, you know, yeah, or you or the new tenant takes over and you have to pay even more. It's a good thing, uh, I can't how house has wheels then. Internet's cheapest cruise. Yeah, I'm so excited. I've always wanted to go cruising. Uh, ever since I was a young boy and I read The uh, the Ship of Adventure by Ian Blyton, which casual racism aside was just a wonderful bit. Oh, I might enjoy that. Me. I used to sit on the, the stony shores of cows just watching the giant cruise ships sailing away. You know, just a... What was that book called again? I'm going to go and order you know, you're, not, you're not seriously... With all the books that are out there, A Song of Ice and Fire, and all the other Game of Thrones books, the Lord of the Rings books, the Hobbit, the the, the War of the Worlds, and you know all them books, you're going to get some random book just because Callum said there's casual racism. What a waste of time and money! It's probably only like two offensive lines that you look that you want to have an edgy laugh at, you know. I don't know. I would think that I wouldn't be even read it. I'll go, I'll go on five which pages that I uh, find, find the lines, laugh at them, and then, then just put the book down and never touch it again. Well, what the fucking hell's the point of that, you fools? <laughs> so you're going to spend 20, 30 quid just to look at two words that you could probably find online in an, or in an audio book? Goodness gracious. Well, uh, 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 I'll probably just read some of that. I like that. Uh, Mango one. Okay. Um, but I always thought it was going to be beyond me. 
Do you know what I mean? Cruising's for posh people. It's expensive. Um, I didn't think it would ever be a possibility. But Bloody hell, Carl. There's cheap cruises out there, for God's sake. There's, there's definitely some cheap cruises out there, bro. But he's gone on the world. I'm thinking, uh, if I'm thinking, uh, what is his kind of books worth? I kept my BDI yeah. open because sometimes there are deals out there. I've seen ones for a couple of nights, you know, northern cities going over to Germany or something for like 250 quid. But even that, I thought, I thought kind of might like that one for two nights. It's more than 100 quid a night. It's hard to justify. Yeah, Germany's got a lot of amazing cities, hasn't it? You know, uh, very mm -hmm. safe place mostly. Well, so, I was more thinking. With the means that people make of him. Well, um, I don't think he'd like that very much. But recently, oh, sure I saw this deal. Yeah. It was less than five hundred pounds for 12, 12 nights. Mediterranean cruise. It was P and L Ventura, right? So I inquired about it. Even with the single supplement, um, it's cost me. Five hundred and fifty-two pounds, and that's for a cabin with an obstructed view, um, so I can see. Uh, how can that be real? That's forty-six pounds a night, all you can eat, all food included, Ooh. for less than you'd pay to to stay in a premier inn. I think this series is really actually not the world's cheapest holiday. All this jazz because I know the hotel ones have ended up shit, haven't they? Like the hotels he stopped in are pretty awful hotels. But the, the one where he went to South Devon, that, that caravan seemed fantastic. And there was I'd love to twitch his nose. Are you okay? Bloody hell. I'm, 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 I'm just going to... I'm, when it's just it's just off to, off, off to the side of it. And it's kind of like a really buttery top. We just like to poke it a bit, that's all. Anyway, I feel like... Yeah, Karen, what are you saying? And, and the Spanish holiday was really good. Um, and I feel like this crew, I'm hoping this cruise will be good for him. I think I watched about 18 minutes of it and it ended up seeming like a decent cruise. Like, it's awakened a desire in me to investigate that. Like, how is that even feasible? How are they doing that? So I booked it and we're going to go on it. I'm so excited. It's going to fulfill a lifelong dream and it's one of the most reasonable things I've ever seen. Right, I set sail in a couple of hours. As I say, it's p and Ventura I'm going on. It's a Mediterranean cruise going like past Gibraltar, up Spain and stuff. Very I nice. I cannot wait. Let's get moving. Right, I'm here. I'm in Cowles. I'm at the red jet terminal. Um, I am quite early. I did tend to turn up quite early for stuff. I um, get quite uh, That pink b and is fantastic. I get quite anxious at the best yeah. of times, to be fair, and even more so today. When I was in a taxi on the way over here, I um, tried to log into my, my p and booting thing, something that I've done so kind of seven, eight times a day ever since I booted it, just to check up on it, you know, excitement and stuff. Uh, and it wouldn't let me log in. It said booting not recognised. That has never happened. I'm assuming it's just because it's the day of embarkation and stuff. But, yeah, you know, it, it has got me even more nervous. Like I say, I, I do get a bit anxious at the best of times. I could be, you know, there's just so much going on in my mind. I'll be looking around and, oh, that bloke's got a moustache. You know, no assumptions, but I'm going to keep my BDI on him just in case there are children around. Um, you know, I'm a, I'm a feet properly placed to stave attackers off, self-defence and stuff. There's always something going on in my mind. Quite often my anus is going like that. And then you add in a bit of travel anxiety and it's um, like the wings of a hummingbird. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to get inside and warm up, get a froth of coffee and uh, hopefully it won't be too long. All right, I am here, Ocean Terminal. Um, I... A verbo is for sharing... <laughs> Should I use my my account to up with the premium? Uh, like for me, uh, no, it's case. all right. Um, and they've taken it away. I've literally been here five minutes and it's already all done. That's so much easier than when you're flying, getting your bloody suitcase and through the laggy balls. If you want to next time, though, we can. And just takes ages, don't it? That was literally five yeah. minutes. Great start. All right, let's go on in and get properly checked in, I guess. Hopefully I'll be on soon. Okay, we found the queues. This feels a bit more familiar for a holiday now. How long it will take, whether it will be as slow as an airport, but yeah, definitely more familiar. This is so much quicker than flying. That took 10 minutes, start to finish, and now I'm going through security. Amazing. All right, security is done. It's taken me 90 minutes since I walked into this building to do all of that. That is like, it's bloody speedy Gonzales, isn't it, compared to flying? And just through there, 
he's the um, like the passageway. I don't know what it's called. There's probably some technical term for it, but yeah, I'm about to enter yeah. the passageway to enter the ship. I, I'm on board, and I've just visited my um, my master station. Um, don't really know what to do with myself now. I think I'm going to go find my cabin. I guess see if my suitcase is turned up. It looks amazing, though. Right, I think I found my cabin. That should be my um, key cabin, I guess, in there. Yeah, it's not open at the moment. Hold up. Oh my god, I mean, oh my god, it's well nice. Look at that, two separate sections. Look at that. I don't know if you see it in, 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 the, in this one or, or one in the next one. But I didn't realize how big the cruise ship was. Oh, okay. I mean, they're going to be it's massive, massive aren't they? When people go on, mm. there's so many facilities and things to do. Yeah, well, I, I thought it was going to be like a, a small like, cruise boat. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, no, no. They don't. They don't do small cruise boat cruises, I don't think. Unless it's like a really posh one, they do a small one. Uh, no, but for five hundred oh, quid, you see how big this one is, and it is massive. Yeah. yeah. Oh, cute little bathroom. So I'm giving you that bathroom. The bathroom. Forty-six quid a day. Yeah. But it's very small for a tall bloke <laughs> like Carl. Let's look at how tiny it is, man. That's ridiculous. I think he, he expands and he, he finds it okay. Yeah. Oh, cute little bathroom. So I'm giving you a live room tour as I go. I'm so excited. Oh wow. Oh, that's my obstructed view. Yeah, I forgot to say actually for my cruise there. I could have that's got not it bad view. cheaper if I went. Yeah, you can still. I mean, he's showing it on camera. You still get a good view of all this stuff here. I quite, I quite like having the lifeboat there as well. It's quite, um, well, well, feels more sea really. And also, yeah, yeah, also, if if you get shot for all your edgy jokes, uh, the lifeboat will protect you, won't it? Less chance of you being an open target. Oh, definitely, yeah. There you go. And break, you, you could break the window and literally climb in, in, into the lifeboat. Oh, you you just go away from behind if it was sinking. Oh, no, I'll, I'll, take, I'll take him with me. Take who with you? I thought you, I thought you said leave, leave Liam behind. No, I said leave everyone. Well, it's, it's more noble for women and children to go in the escape well there's all, already escape boats for everyone already and there'd be oh uh, well, I, I thought you meant like people were just trying to try and track me down so i just escaped no no i meant if the ship was sinking uh, well, well, i, I still do it anyway <laughs> i was about to make a joke i was gonna say you say fuck on her get out of my way you stupid cowboy get out of my way you little kid move move fucking move <laughs> Equal rights, equal, equal sinks. I was, about, yeah, I was about to say you were going to say equality. <laughs> <laughs> boom, boom. Oh, God. And for a, a windowless cabin, uh, but it was already so cheap. I thought, you know what? I'm going to have a little window. See out of there. That's nice. Uh, that's what they were talking about. The boss's station. That's your little information. I'll sit down and watch that in a minute. Look at that kettle. Kettle, oh my god. I'd have a biscuit. Coffee. Mm -hmm. Biscuits. That's amazing. What's this cupboard? It's a fridge. It's a bloody fridge. <laughs> There's nothing in it, but I could get something to go in it. I'm, I'm looking forward to the white nice. pieces of this. Where I set the laptop up. There I am. Hey, up. Oh man, I'm so excited by this lovely bed. Lovely bed. I'm gonna take my coat off and we do a bed test. Do a uh, the softness test, comfiness test. Right, um, let's pop it down on the seat now. That's nice as well. Couple of different seats. You can sit here and be like, let me turn you around. That's like, so I could sit here, take the hat off, don't need it, it's warm. I could sit here and be like, oh, yeah, nice window, view at sea. Um, also, could be sitting at the desk and be like, yeah, working away, processing some data. I know it's data. I like to say data for some reason. Um, and let's do this. Let's test the bed. Test the bloody bed. Right, you ready? Oh, that's nice. That's nice. I can't believe I've got this on cabin. It's way bigger than I thought it would be. Bloody wardrobe. Is it massive? 
This is amazing. 40, well, less than 45 quid a night. What a bloody bonus. Oh, I don't know what to do now. Do bar, to do to I guess I should get out there yeah. and explore, see what's yeah. on the ship and stuff. I've got a small idea. I've been doing Googling and stuff. I know the swimming pools and stuff and restaurants, but I don't know exactly what. So, um, yeah, I guess I guess we're going to have a look. This is amazing. I, I'm having a walk around, a little explore, and I found a promenade deck. Um, I am almost at the front of the ship, and there is a small part of me that wants to go up there and do the whole um, I'm the king of the world thing. Mm. I'm going to restrain myself now. I've had a lovely walk around. Um, everyone's so smiley and happy. They're all like, good afternoon, like proper friendly. No, I was going to say as well, you know, with the whole view thing. <laughs> that picture. <laughs> oh, yeah. But you know when it's like, oh, you don't have a good view. Bro, just leave your room mm. and go outside and you get a good view. And also most yeah. of the time, the view is just going to be C, so who cares? Yeah, you're right. Unless you're going to see like the Northern Lights, what what the hell's the problem? You know, there's nothing really yeah. to see out there. Unless you want to see some big fat whale go <laughs> like that. Who really cares? Well, we know you like that. A big fat whale. What are you on about? What are you on about? Them kind of women. If it, oh, oh yeah, a big fat woman swimming. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's. Um, I, I can't. I can't imagine a big fat woman jumping in the sea in the middle of the sea. I really feel like, like, like you. You not get on well with uh, with Gorlock. Who the hell's Gorlock? It's just a little all, all, all quickly. Oh dear. Oh, George. What? You absolutely lost the plot. What is that kind of kind of woman that you and I? No. The the sort of big women I like are you know ones with big uh, badonkadonks, not massive. Well, she definitely has a, a big one. Nah, I don't think she do. She she looks like she's got it all in her face and her belly. She doesn't look like she's got a big uh, booty. <laughs> but I've seen her on videos, and I I think that people just have a go about her. Yeah, I can't believe how like stress free this is compared to flying. You know? sit now. I'm just here. Yeah, we're going to travel places, but this is my hotel. Like, that's it for traveling. It's just an amazing feeling. I'm kind of done with the promenade deck now. Let's go and have a look and see what we can find on the other floors. Jesus. Uh, that'll be calm in two years. Oh my God. Look what I just found. Definitely. We have to use this. It doesn't matter that it's cold. There's going to be swimming. Swimming. Original schedule calls for two days at sea crossing the Bay of Biscay towards our first port, Vigo. If we were to stick to this plan, we would find ourselves spending 24 hours in very rough seas with high winds. Not something we want to do. So exactly. The decision has been made then to make all possible speed towards Vigo to get ahead of the approaching weather. If we are successful, we should be arriving in Vigo one day earlier than scheduled and spending the Not. night there, away from the rough seas in a lovely sheltered harbour. I think this is a very positive result, allowing extra time in port oh, and certainly a more comfortable start to your holiday. When we leave tonight then, we will set our maximum speed. Conditions should be good up until noon tomorrow when we can expect wind and seas to build. We're moving very slowly, but we're definitely moving now. I would like to go on the cruise, no, but it was, was quite a nice and relaxing. Was exploring. Um, I don't even feel like a. Yeah, I guess the the really good thing about a cruise over like plane holidays is that you can visit a load of different countries quite quick. You know, you you could sail from like I don't know the D... where is it? Not Margate. Oh. Wherever you can sail off from. You know, you can sail from wherever you need Portsmouth. to sail. Uh, yeah, you could sail like from Portsmouth to uh, like Denmark, and then from Denmark to like Norway, or all the way around to Finland, or like you could sail, and there could be like always oh, stopping off in Belgium, the Netherlands, um, Germany, Iceland. Denmark. I mean, Iceland would probably just be a one there and back, wouldn't it? I can't see them going to other places. Oh, 
I'm just like, that's why I'm random ones, which would be quite cool to do it. Still, no, Iceland could still be a good one because you'd think that if they were going to do Iceland, they go all around Iceland. They wouldn't just go to Reykjavik. You dick around for a bit, then come back home. You'd think because it's a cruise, they go all the way around Iceland, so you get to visit all different towns and whatever. Yeah, which would be nice. Yeah, that would be good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, obviously, it's not just all about visiting different countries, but yeah. Um, yeah, it would definitely be part of me. Yeah, yeah and, and even just on the boat. Oh, yeah. Being all inclusive. Like, that would be really enjoyable. Oh, yeah. Bro, that would be so. Imagine, like, me, you, Liam, and Ben, and Aaron, if he's up for it. Just like yeah. going back and drinking loads. Well, I know you're not much of a drinker, but it'd still be so cool eating a shit ton and drinking loads. Then, yeah, I'd probably drink more on there because I know there's not a lot of responsibility to get yeah. back and things like that. That's a great point. You can drink a load, rest, then the next day you get up whenever you need. Well, you can sort of get up whenever you want. It depends when you drop off in the next country and if you're interested in walking around the country. If I was yeah. on a cruise, I personally want to visit every country that there's a drop off at, I would want to have a whip round, a bit of a whip round, go yeah, to the cafe, yeah. see if there's a museum. Uh, just see, I don't know how many hours to stop off for. I'm guessing it would be two or three hours. So I guess you have to. Uh, I think it would be a bit more than that. I, I'd right. probably say four or five. Uh, then I guess that's pretty good. You probably don't have to spend the day in there, probably. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, I it would be. 12 day thing, it would make sense if you're there for a good amount of time. Yeah. Not the size yet either. Barely scratched the surface. Um, I've left the promenade deck now and I'm back in my cabin. Um, I just really needed a wee. Uh, but it's nice to be back here as well now we're moving. I wanted to see what it was like. I was kind of expecting it to be rocking back and forwards or for the very least, at the very least for it to be kind of like shuddering or something, you know, like ships do when they're going, but there's nothing. No, bastards! You wouldn't even know we're moving. It's um, it's steady, bloody Eddie. Right, I don't want to spend too much time in here. I want to get back out there, do some more exploring, and also find some food. I'm getting very hungry now, and that's yeah, that's one of the things I'm looking forward to most is eating. So yeah, let's go do it. Right, you see those lights over there? That, well, that's the Isle of Wight. That's where I live. See you later, mate. See you in a couple of weeks. I, I am back in my cabin. Um, I just needed a couple of moments to myself, to be honest with you. A couple of quiet minutes reflection to process what's just happened. So, um, been out exploring the ship and stuff, looking outside, waving goodbye to the Isle of Wight, um, getting really, really hungry. So, I went and found the buffet. Um, oh, let's see what he has to say. Busy, super hectic, so I couldn't film there. I will go back tomorrow morning when hopefully it will be a bit quieter and film it all for you so you can see it and stuff. But um, yeah, I found the buffet, this poolside buffet place. Went in and this bloke gave me some um, hand sanitizer and stuff, which was nice. And I tried to give him a, my cruise card so he knew it was me and stuff. He's like, oh, I don't need that, mate. But I'm questioning, you know, like, how does this work? How will you know that uh, I mean, like, oh, you're absolute, the full, like, three times? You're absolutely edgy twat. I just I saw what you put in there. I don't. They wouldn't. Do they can't, can't blame me. Freedom fighter. They wouldn't. They wouldn't do a cruise to there, and um, yeah. Well, well, in the war, they did, did make two times ships into battle ships. I'm not eating more and stuff. It don't matter. You can come back as many times as you want. Oh my god, I've been all inclusive once before when I was in Morocco, but that was set down in times. You had breakfast, you had lunch, you had dinner. There is literally nothing to stop me eating like eight times a day. This is amazing, it's gonna be incredible. And the food was brilliant. I have this lovely, fluffy mashed potato, hunter's chicken, this Chinese beef stuff, and just to know that I can eat as much of it as I want anytime I want. Oh, it was almost like a religious experience, just absolutely brilliant. All right, I'm um, I'm gonna let my excitement, you know, just calm myself down a little bit, and then I'm gonna get back out there. I'm gonna go get myself an alcoholic beverage, what one of those, and then I'm gonna have a little look around and see what the entertainment and stuff is like. But yeah, I am loving it so far. Hey, oh, right, I am back in the cabin now, and um. Changed into my comfy clothes, just getting ready to turn in for the night. But I thought I'd do you one last little update because it's been um, 
It's been an amazing first day. I've enjoyed this evening so much. Wandering around, exploring the ship. I've had a couple of drinks, JD and Conks. Um, even even managed to find the Arsenal game in this like pop they've got on here. So I went and watched the Arsenal Luton game. Just cracking. Can't speak highly enough of it. Um, and and I've noticed. I think I showed you my hands this vlog, but um, they were going a bit kind of skinny, flaky. Um, basically, I've got a, I've replaced my e-scooter very recently, and it's played havoc with my hands. I really do tend to grip the handles quite firmly. Big believer in the old grip it and rip it, you know what I mean? Just go for it. Um, but it's been so wet and rainy recently. My hands have been pruny, and then with the roughness of the handles, it made them go all flaky. But I seem to have healed in the short space that I've been here. I don't know whether that's feasible or realistic or what, but I promise you they were dead kind of skinny and flaky earlier and they've healed. Nature's healing. It's like COVID again. All right, I'm going to turn in. I'm going to go to sleep. I'm going to set an early alarm so I can get up super early, hopefully before everyone else is up and I can show you around a bit more while it's quiet, take you into the buffet and stuff, buffet breakfast. Yeah, I'm just so excited. It's amazing. All right, I'll see you in the morning. Good morning to you. Right, due to popular request, well, there were two comments asking for it. Um, I am going to do for you a fit check. Um, so here you go. This is me, early morning. Um, orange hoodie. It's night. It's very comfortable. Black jeans. Um, they're by Levi. Uh, and then to top it all off, let's go for the line. My Jordans! Thank you. Uh, the old fake yeah, Jordans started for me, possibly my favorite show of all time. Yeah, I wouldn't say I've dressed up nice, but I'm wearing stuff that I like and that um, I'm gonna very much enjoy breakfasting. All right, let's do it. Right. I'm not how how he wears a lot of ice cream. Um, it is real. Yeah, it's pretty cool for some bloke who's in his early 40s to do that. Yeah, no, they are on jumper the pink hat, it because they did suit him quite well. I wonder what you're doing. It's not quite as early as I wanted. I wanted to wake up about half six. Um, but clocks have changed, haven't they? Because we're in Europe now. Um, so I've woken up at like half seven, which is later than I like, but never mind. Um, ah, it's starting to get a tiny bit rocky. I did notice that when I woke up, well, a couple of times at night, I woke up to a little. Um, I do have a tiny bit of very low level nausea. Um, so I might get some travel sickness pills in like what the captain announced yesterday about the storms in the Bay of Biscay. Um, also, would like to get some tweezers. You can see that my eyebrows, they've gone off the hook, they've grown mentally. And they always do that when I go on holiday. I don't know whether it's because normally I've got too much going on and working hard and stuff during thought. So they just, you know, give it a break. And then when I'm away and relax, they just go for it. Makes sense. I had this girlfriend who always popped her eyebrows and she was stupid. Um, maybe that's the reason why. Anyway, let's go and find this buffet. Let's go and have some breakfast. Oh. Uh, should I take a lift? No, I'm going to walk in. You think it's a long way and you go up a couple of floors and you're like, oh, God, it's a long way. But then you're like, oh, there's no floor 13. It's a superstition. You're almost there. So, yeah, it's all right. We'll manage. <laughs> I love this little bit. It reminds me of um, that is absolutely popping. I love this. Oh, look at all that, man. Oh, no, it looks good. Damn, looks really sick. The tables are a decent length from each other. It goes on for quite a while. The lights are really trendy, bro. Really cool. A little bit. It reminds me of the Titanic. Well, it don't look rough, does it? Just occasionally it feels a bit raw. Probably just getting the sea legs a little bit. Right, off I go. Oh my god. I wonder if I'm search for any mermaids. No, I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> oh! Baked beans, hash browns, sausages, Ooh. eggs. That's what I don't know. Very English breakfast this morning. Beans, 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 fruits, leaves, sausages. 
Sam, I wanted to I'm tell you something. I'm like Abby now. I oh, no. breakfast has been consumed. Go on, then. So I went to the Weatherspoons near me. Uh, and, uh, and so I had that. I had a pint of Pepsi and the English breakfast. Mm-hmm. £6.66. Yeah. Compare it oh, to oh. Uh, ah. the, a big supermarket place. Mm-hmm. One that one there, it, uh, and that was like eight pounds something uh, a few weeks back. Which one was better in your opinion, the supermarket one in the supermarket? Cafe? No, the uh, one near me. I can't believe cheaper and tasted better. I can't believe it's six pounds sixty six. That's very cursed. I know. Seriously, what the fuck? No, but seriously, yeah. But, but that was too, too quick, cheap, and it tasted better. Three, two, three, all the way. Here. Yeah. But, um, it's well, the thing is with Weatherspoons. I know, obviously, I've I've discussed it with people before, and as much as Weatherspoons is a lit place with loads of drinks, right? That it's massive, usually massive, uh, majority of the time. Um, amazing prices, all this jazz. Great layout, big, all that cool stuff. If every place was, the we- was a Weatherspoons, it'd be quite depressing. Like You'd just be like, Ugh. you'd be bored of going out, you know? Yeah. But it, it is amazing, though. Like the one we had um, when we went to uh, Worcester, that was a solid, solid one, man. It, it was. Uh, that was a lovely was, one, that was. It was £6.42, and it was just phenomenal. I'm surprised, Liam, yeah. didn't, to be honest, when he was there. But it's, it's, I think he had some pancakes, didn't he, or something? Six pounds. Uh, I tell you, the pancake, pancakes are quite nice, but they were expensive. But, um, yeah, he absolutely sat. The only problem was there wasn't a black pudding, but it's definitely a 9.5 out of 10 full English breakfast. Uh, well, I, I, I had um, the black pudding I did on, on today. Oh, okay. Uh, cool. Two pieces for like one pound fifty, and and it still came came to the six pounds sixty six from it. Oh, okay. So you can just tell how, how good the price is. I think the actual breakfast itself was like three pounds something. Mhm. And with the that put on top, so yeah, very good. Fair play, then. Yeah, I mean, it's it's sad that a supermarket can't do as well, but. I think the thing is with a supermarket, like there's so much choice with supermarkets that it's a bit more, it can be a bit more difficult for supermarkets to do well, unless you like Aldi or Lidl who sell stuff really cheap. But with like weather spoons, that they always like sell cheap, don't they? They can, they're, they're yeah. always doing well. They always have a shit ton of people going and buying loads of drinks. And they sell it's they're, they're, a supermarket made a ready made English breakfast that would sell out a lot. Yeah, definitely. Definitely, man. Yeah, uh, yeah. And they do stuff that you know, like you, you know, most pubs they just do like even for ciders, it's usually record liquor, old mouth. Um, they don't they don't sell much copperberg while at Weatherspoons, it's always copperberg. You know what I'm saying? For yeah. ciders, but they always they always do what the other rest what the other pubs aren't doing all the time. You know, uh, mm-hmm. they try and like fill a loophole in the market and like a, a bloody. I think it was. Was it like three pound thirty for a Copperberg? They're usually five quid, you know. Everywhere else, yeah, you're right. Yeah, any place that does sell a Copperberg, it's always five quid. But Weatherspoons, they always sell every drink, drink cheaper, which is fantastic. We are watering down a little bit more, but you can excuse that for the price. Uh, I don't think the ciders are watered down because they're already in a bottle, aren't they? But um... no. I thought they'd come straight from, straight from, from the tap. No, no, no. If it's in a bottle, it doesn't come from the tap. It's just stored in a fridge. No, I know I know that. But what I'm saying is that I didn't think they'd come in bottles. I thought they no, no, no. had the barrels. Never... That's why they put, put them in taps. So they the differ stronger. No, no. The only places I've seen that have done... A... The only ciders I've seen on draft, obviously, Strongbow Dark Fruit. Strongbow. Yeah. Thatcher's Inch, or whatever it's called, and uh, Mortimer's Orchard, English Berry. And, yeah, that's uh, what I thought, yeah. There's another Mortimer's one that's on draft as well. It's um, it, it's not Mortimer. 
it's something else than Mortimer's on trial. I can't remember it now, but I haven't seen a lot of ciders on draft. It's mostly just in a bottle. It, 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 you know, I'm thinking they dark fruit because that's what I normally have. It was um, you know. maybe the maybe the dark fruit at Weather Spoons is watered down. I don't know. I haven't had it from spoons, so I, I don't know if they do it. Yeah, I'm not sure. Be honest, I, I, I can't I can't recall seeing a dark fruit tap there. No. It was incredible. Overwhelming. It's like it's, it's almost too much beauty in the world when you're there at a buffet like that. It's like, oh, here's limitless bacon. Oh, limitless sausages, two different kinds. Eggs, three different kinds. Ooh. You want some fried toast? Oh. Have some of that. Fancy normal toast, you can have that. You want some fried potatoes? The fried eggs, is it? You know, limitless. Well, quite overcooked, apparently. And they're quite hard. It sounds to me like a. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like yeah, so we went to that. I just scrambled eggs. It's fruit juice, limitless coffee. I mean, my back teeth are basically floated at this point. It was absolutely incredible. Um, I did speak to a guy at breakfast, actually, and um, the time hasn't changed. We're not in the European time zone. I've just slept an extra hour, which is incredible, isn't it? I never sleep that night. So as well. For the comfiness of the beds and the whole experience, I've managed to sleep almost an extra hour this morning. It's crazy. Anyway, it is a seat day today, so I am at leisure. Um, the boat seems much, much quieter today. Maybe it's because it's morning time. Um, but yes, last night, yesterday was quite hectic. Everyone was buzzing around. Oh, what's this? Looking, I want to try this, I want to try that. It seems a lot more leisurely out there today. So I'm going to spend today at leisure at sea. I'm going to waft around, I'll film obviously, show you around because it's nice and quiet. I might jump in a hot tub, uh, possibly get an old beer arena. Um, yeah, it should be an awesome day. So I just had a look on. The Tui Live Happy Smell is. Oh, I wonder if they've got cruise as well. Google Maps Live, and we are definitely in the beer biscuit now. It's not too choppy, not too rough. Um, but I am going to try and get some travel sickness pills just in case it does get worse later. Like the captain said, I don't want to be being sick all the time. It's nice out here, though, isn't it? Lovely way to, to start the day. A bit of deck time. I said deck, not dick. I have some kind of dance class going on out here. A, I'm not going to join in that, but I might do one day. It's amazing what happened on this cruise ship, though. Honestly, being on a cruise ship, I can imagine, wouldn't be a half bad job. It depends what sort of cruise ship. If it's just got average bog standard people, then it'll be all right. But if you've got like really broke people doing a cheap cruise, then it might be, you know, you might have people going, like that. or if it's a high-end cruise, I might be like, oh, my Rolls Royce isn't adjusted properly. I'm putting in a complaint to your manager now, you stupid bastard. So, um, I mean, I know this is more of a yeah, living, no. So, they probably are all chill people, because Callum said earlier, they're all sound as a pound on this specific cruise, so. Possibly the most overpriced items I'd ever come across. And this was the ship's theatre, where a whole variety of talented performers yeah. were on every evening. All right, all this walking around the ship is starting to make me a bit hungry. Um, I am going to pop into the burger place and grab myself a cheeseburger. May as well try it. Here you go. Yeah, right. So I've got myself a cheeseburger well, and some chips. Let's give on. it the old taste test. Not be that in it. Um, still don't mean that in it. Don't want to sell it. Just looking for a burger. Right. I'll allow the lettuce and I'll allow the onion. Uh, the onion. I'm actually quite keen on mine. Right. Hey, up and <laughs> to the burger battles at sea. <laughs> that is lovely. <laughs> Wow, so overwhelming. The thought that I've got as many of these as I want, I can just eat burgers all day long. The chips as well, lad. It's almost symbolic. The chip is everything. It's a bloody good chip. But it's a good supply for the next 11 days. I think wow. I to do like a good chip review battle. Hey, oh, right. I mean, what did you say? I think Karen is like a chip review battle. 
Maybe. I mean, the only time I've heard him talk about cheese is... Uh, but I heard him talking about a McDonald's fry, and he said they used to be a lot greasier back in the day, which I do agree with. There was so much more grease on a Mackey's fry back in, like, 2012, 2013. It just felt like it was slathered in grease, and it was just so nice, and you had so much grease around your mouth, you could just lick, at, lick up. But, like, for a few years now, I reckon since, like, 2019, 2018, there's just been... The grease has been going down more and more. The... the cooked it in uh oh it's like some flour fat or something like that that's it they use now oh, okay so it makes it not as good i mean it's ridiculous like if they're trying to make it a smidge more healthy that's nonsense because like why would you you're not going for mcdonald's for health you're going for a cheap quick meal yeah yeah you know, probably should do like the vegetarian stuff either uh, uh, it's, a difficult one. Good. it's a difficult one i mean i feel like they should do a few vegetarian things because you shouldn't be ax you shouldn't be axing mcdonald's from vegetarians but um i feel like it should mostly be based around me because it is meant to be shit food isn't it for you it's meant to yeah be so people know what they're getting into you know yeah yeah that's why I think it's daft when, like, I, think, I swear there, there was these two fat ladies who, who tried to sue Mackey's for making them unhealthy, and it's like, are you both off your rocker? You chose to go there over and over again, spend your money there, and eat there again and again and again and again and again. That's why you're fat and unhealthy. It's nothing to do. It's not McDonald's. Oh, yeah, well, they just don't think it's their fault, do they? I mean, it's their, it's their responsibility to not... Like, if, if the McDonald's as a company ran to their house tied them down and force fed them McDonald's then for years and years, then yes, they'd have a great warrant for suing them. But like just yeah. the day, they, they made the blues. I watched where a, a guy came in every day, ordered what he wanted and and left and got bigger and bigger. Mm -hmm. uh, and and his wife a cook a cook coming saying to basically ban him from the shop which which I couldn't do. And in ends of dying and the blame and she blamed the store. I tried to sue him and basically lost. How can you blame the Mackey store for his bloody him not having any responsibility? That's so mental in it, man. But I guess they want I know, someone I know. to blame. It's like blame, yeah. it's like blaming cigarette companies for people smoking. No, it's the tobacco that gets them de-stressed and makes them wanted. It's not like I don't like being a shrill for companies. And it's their choice. Yeah, I don't like being... I'm not trying to be a shrill for companies because there are a lot of shit companies out there. But, like, the thing is, with cigarette... With companies that provide you some sort of pleasure, whether that's eating shit food or smoking or anything like that, at the end of the day, you're making that choice to go and buy their products. Yeah. you know what I'm saying? With the smoke... Yeah, and I have really bad drugs as well. It's their choice. Yeah, the thing is, at the end of the day, it's like with the cigarette things, it shows you all the consequences on the cigarette packet. You know what I'm saying? It, 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 it tells yeah. you, they tell you what you're doing to yourself. It's your decision. You, you're yeah. responsible for your own actions. It's like me being mostly healthy. You know, I like to have a bit of booze here and there, but I'm mostly a healthy person. That's my choice. If you want to waste your, not you specifically, but if people want to waste their lives, buddy, you know, just going to extremes and eating fast food constantly and, all that jazz, then let them, but you can't blame other people for your bad decision making, can you? No, definitely not. It's what it you can. choose. Mm -hmm. And um, a bit of a weird one. I have I've just woken up. Um, I fell asleep, had a little snooze. Now, that wasn't planned. It was entirely organic. Um, I popped back to my room earlier because I wanted to stick my swimming trunks on underneath my trousers, thinking about jumping in a hot tub at some point. Um, and my, my phone needed a bit of charging, a bit of juice in it. I've been out filming and stuff. It's ripped through the charge. So I thought, you know what? Plug it in and just chill out on the bed for 10 minutes. You know, just let it get some juice in it and I'll be off again. Um, an hour later, I've just woken up from a snooze. Um, I've woken up hungry as well. I don't know whether it is to sleep or maybe it's just because I had a lighter lunch or something, just a cheeseburger and chips, but I've woken up with a hunger. Um, so I'm going to do something. It's just gone three o'clock, and I remember hearing, reading somewhere in the literature that they do like afternoon tea 
from like three to four o'clock in the restaurants and the buffet and stuff. So I'm going to go check that out. I really fancy a little cake and a cup of tea. Sounds really fun. Um, also, got my swimming trunks on underneath my trousers. So um, after afternoon tea, if I see a hot tub or something that's free, I'm going to get in it. All right, let's get moving. There you go. Couple of cakes and a cup of tea. I feel like that should be like national law or something at three o'clock. It's the perfect way to see in the afternoon, kind of warm your stomach up before dinner. Lovely. So that's a chocolate orange one. I'm not quite sure what that is, but I think maybe it's sticky toffee or something, toffee flavoured. And that is, um, it's a Victoria sponge, but kind of different, I guess, like reimagined. Yeah, very excited. Right, let's give it a taste test. Mmm. Mmm. It's good. Mm. That's really good. Fresh cream. Um, really good sponge cake as well. I, I am back in my cabin now, post-afternoon tea. Um, that was delightful. Absolutely lovely. I've, I've become a firm believer now that we need to make that a national institution back in England. Do you know what I mean? Just three o'clock rolls around, stop what you're doing, have a few little bits of cake. It's lovely. It's delightful. It just sees you right through. Um, didn't get in the hot tubs. They were really busy. They seemed to be like full of cobbles and stuff. Um, I just felt a little bit awkward, you know, walking in on my own and stuff. Like, stop your conversations. Watch out. Move over. Callum's coming in. Yeah, I'll wait till they're a bit quieter, I think. Maybe tomorrow morning, early tomorrow morning. I think they'll be quite quiet then, won't they? And it would just be a lovely way to start the day, I reckon, wouldn't it? Early morning, hot tub out on the deck and stuff. Yeah, nice. Anyway, yeah, in the end, I just went um, I went and found Costa, got myself a frothy coffee. And um, first bomb note from P&O, actually, I will talk about it. Uh, this is the bomb note. Went and asked for a takeaway one because I wanted to go out on the deck and walk around with my frothy coffee. Um, they don't give you takeaway cups. They don't stock the cardboard for environmental reasons. So I had to go and purchase this. I don't know whether you can see the price on the oh! uh, probably backwards. £16. 50 pence. I absolutely detest that. I hate being forced to, to spend money for environmental stuff. <laughs> and was... no, I can't believe Callum damn me sounding like a true 1970s red tie person, man. He sounded like a true 1970s labour man. I'm not spending any money on the environment. Which, you know, I agree with it though. I do agree. I do agree. But it's just funny how, well, yeah. I won't, I won't say too much else. I don't like uh, getting too political. Recyclable anyway, the cardboard cops. Don't force people into it, you know. Really gets on my nerves, that does. Yeah, 16 quid. So I'm going to be saving this. I'm going to use it every single day. Divide it between 11. At least it's only one pound some of the day then. And I'll um, I'll take it home with me as well. But yeah, frothy coffee is nice. But I don't know whether it's 16 quid nice. Anyway, I am, I'm going to chill out for a little bit, I think. And, um, and then I'm going to have a shower and get changed. Uh, go for dinner. I am finding actually something I want to talk about. Everyone is dressed quite formally here. Um, I'm not, obviously. I'm just wearing my hoodie, got my trainers on and stuff. And um, I do feel a little bit underdressed, a little bit inadequate. I know they have like a formal night here. Um, I think it's tomorrow, maybe, or the next night, where everyone has to dress up. I've read that you can, um, you can eat in the buffet and just dress normally, but it feels like not many people are going to do that, judging by everyone out there. Um, I'm not going to worry about it too much, but I am going to have a shower before dinner and I'm going to stick a shirt on. It's a small gesture. I'll still be wearing my jeans and my trainers, but maybe it'll make me feel slightly better. Right, I'm going to chill out for a few minutes and um, and then we do a shower review. Right, I am in the shower. Um, it's quite a small space. Don't worry, I have got um, swimming trunks on. I'll show you. The scum and the dolls, you don't need to Belize with my best mates. A trip that we had been talking about for years, but the price tag prevented us from making pounds. Um, first problem that I've noticed is that I'm about nearly a foot taller than the shower, so it is going to be aimed mainly at my chest. Um, the other issue, oh, this happened again, uh, is the shower curtain. Now, I'm wearing trunks, so I'm okay, but if I wasn't, they would be copying my buttocks very heavily. In fact, uh, with the wetness of the shower curtain, I'm pretty sure it turned translucent and you'd get a, well, a, a crack in it. Yeah, let's put it that way. Uh, make a nice picture if you're like an OnlyFans girl or something. I'm not. I don't really want my buttocks being caressed by a shower curtain. Um, on the plus side, it's very warm and it's very powerful. So there's that. Um, it's just a bit low. And yeah, I'm not a big fan of the shower curtain. It's me off as a shower. 
All right, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna have an actual shower now and wash and stuff. So I'll speak to you later. All right, I finished my shower and I'm ready for dinner. Um, despite the generous groping that I received for the shower curtain, that was a very enjoyable shower. Um, I don't know what products they give you, like the shower gel and the, the shampoo that's up in there, but they smell amazing. Um, I feel clean as a bean. I made my kind of token gesture to being slightly smarter. I popped the shirt on. It's still very casual, but at least I'm making the effort. All right, let's go and grab some dinner. And let's also, actually, let's check what's going on with the waves, because they... I feel like they're getting rougher, but it might just be because I'm in the cabin. They're definitely worse here. All right, I'm about to head up to the buffet, but I thought I'd come down to the promenade deck and just check on the weather. I do like to keep my eye on it. Let me turn you around so you can see. Oh, it looks wet, doesn't it? Are you ready for this? Oh, oh my God. bloody hell. Oh, it's not as cold as it was when we were in England, but yeah, that's pretty rough, isn't it? It's kicking it up. He wasn't lying, the captain. It's definitely going to be rough tonight. Oh, it's amazing. I really like this. I can stay out here for a while. Just watching it. Look at the spray. Wow. I'm in the lake on the way up to the buffet now. I tell you what, walking around the ship in these rough seas is a bit of a challenge. It's like um, the floor's there. It's, only, it's not. That's not a very good explanation, actually. It's like it's solid, solid ground and something. Whoop, it's not quite so solid ground. It just dips on you. Almost made me stumble earlier. Right. Yeah, this is the way. This is the way. Let's get to the buffet. Let's get eating. Oh, I'm hungry now. I can't wait for this. All right, I've just ordered the Jack Daniels and Coke. I'm about to tuck in it to some beef bourguignon, mashed potato, uh, nice bit of bread, butter, real butter, by the way. It's like 50 p's worth of body lure pack in the current climate. Um, yeah, it's all looking good. I'd eat mash every single day if I could. Mash and chips. So important you get good carbohydrates in you. Oh, this is another high moment. It really is. I've got... Um, Butter, self thick you can leave teeth marks in, which is the ideal situation. You can't do that at home because it costs your body much nowadays, a little butter. Um, you can go to town with cruise ships. So butter, self thick you can leave teeth marks in. Jack Daniels and Cog. Lovely mashed potato, lovely beef, lovely surroundings. Yeah, all bloody good. Hey, oh, right, I'm back in my cabin now. What a wonderful evening. I feel like a medieval king. I've eaten my fill. I went back to the buffet twice. I've drunk my fill. I had several JD and Cokes doubles. Lovely. Um, the only thing missing is a bit of female company. You know what I mean? A medieval That's king. That's like eight, bloody eight shots of uh, Jack Daniels. God. Mm -hmm. Um, fair play, two minutes. It really is. Uh, and then he will take a woman. I'd love yeah. to take a woman right now. Um, not rolling it out, to be honest with you, on mm. the greens. There's some talent here. There's some single mm. women here. I think it's probably... George, are you okay? Are you I'm fine, yeah. It just sounds like you're watching some certain anime and... No, no, I was I, I just listening listen to what kind of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I forgot. <laughs> I'm, trying not... <coughs> I'm trying not to cough. It's a way not to be a bit of an older crowd on the cruise ship, but um, it's not really an issue for me, to be honest with you. I've recently hired my upper age limit. You know, you've got to think about it logically. Jennifer Anderson is nearly 16. I would what? definitely shag Jennifer Anderson. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You're not wrong. Oh, she's 54. What's he on about nearly 60? Jeez. Well, she's still old. Yeah, but he's right. She's still very, very bloody good looking, man. She is. There's some other good looking like women in their 50s. Oh, what's her name? Holly Willoughby. The, hey. Holly Willoughby's 43, Holly... I think. Yeah, it's good for her age. Yeah, she does look um, bloody hell. She is like. Definitely one of the most attractive women going, I'd say. Her her husband's a very lucky man. Goodness gracious. Definitely. Alison, so, yeah, I'm rolling nothing out. I'm rolling nothing out. We've got 10 days. Hopefully, something can be achieved because um, it's been too long. 
Wow, I just thought I'd come and have a peek out here after dinner and um, uh, the waves have definitely got bigger now, haven't they? Look at that! Proper primal, isn't it? I kind of want to hang over and have a little look at that. Oh, Oh, no, 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 don't hang. Tom, um, do not hang over. What is he going on about? Oh, he wants to hang over and have a look. Bloody hell. Oh, I love it. Especially when you're not with anyone outside and you can actually be forcing. Help! Tick tock! I think that would have made it a great part to you for the video. What? Him being all his equipment? So, what would happen? Oh. He'd fall in the sea, all his equipment would break, so you wouldn't have any footage, and then he might nearly die. <laughs> so he, he's just pulled out. Uh, on a life raft for like five minutes. Oh, oh. yeah, I guess that would be okay. Yeah. Well, but the thing is, he'd have to be like, I don't know, it'd have to be a situation where he falls, grabs onto the lifeboat, brings it in, and then he's like, ow! Oh. Yeah. Absolutely. Love it. Absolutely magnificent. Just get one big bite. Every night. That's cool. I'm loving it. Christ. I tell you what, I think it might be a bit difficult to get some kit tonight. It's so noisy. The ship shuddering when the waves hit it and stuff. The coat hangers rattling away. It's all kicking up a right racket. It really is going to be difficult to fall asleep, I reckon. Hey, oh, but I, it's nearly <laughs> in the morning and I just can't settle. I just can't get to sleep. Um, and it's not the stormy weather outside, the roughness or the noises of the ship, although that is a real thing. Oh, here it's it cool. comes. Um, it's that cop that I bought today. <laughs> it's just playing on my mind. It's really bothering me. I can't believe I paid £16.50 for a cop. It's ridiculous. If I'm perfectly honest with you, when I was in the shop, I misread the label. I thought it was £6.50, and even that I was on the fence with. You know what I mean? It's way too expensive. £16.50 for a plastic cop. I might never sleep again. <laughs> Good morning to you. If I look really, really tired, <coughs> um, it's because I am a bit this morning. It wasn't the best night's sleep last night. That was that was a real experience being in this bed. It was the shit rocking around and all the noises going on. It felt a little bit like I was being I'm thrown around. It, in it, it wasn't it hard to roll around in, it, in the bed when it was rocking from side to side. Huh? I'm surprised it, it, it wasn't easy to like, roll out of bed with it straight oh, from yeah. side to side. Good point there. <laughs> One minute I'm lying there and it's okay, my head's on the bed. The next minute I'm being smushed into the bed and then back again, smushed into the bed. It's just that would be really good for a YTP. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that would, that would be really funny. That would. Damn, a very weird sensation, oh. um, but. I'm awake now. Um, the clocks have changed. Um, and the reason I've woken up now, it's half past eight in the morning. Uh, the reason I have woken up now is kind of all stopped. You hear that? It's all silent and still. It doesn't even feel like we're moving. And I've opened my curtains um, and there's land outside. Yeah, look at this. So woke up, realised it was all still, opened the curtains and that's just Spain out there. That's Vigo, I think. Hey. I've just got up here and I was looking out. I was thinking, oh God, that's actually a ship. I'm mistaken land for a ship. But I think there is land hulking back there. Yeah, there is. You probably, can't probably. See it. In other news, the weather in Spain is lovely, and it is. It's been flooding out there. Spain, and because you associate Spain with the baking hot sunlight. I know. Don't you? Just yeah, you do. The other side of the ship. And that's it's the same that the question, is raining. Um, as to whether there's actually land out there. Uh, probably should have gone that in the first place. Look at that. Um, Spain looks That's lit. Nice. It looks lit as in like, it doesn't look so lit that you get stabbed or shot walking around, you know what I'm saying? It just looks like a nice jam-packed fun place. Yeah, but they will steal your fish. Well, they steal your fish. 
Is it? Is it Top Gear, Joe? Oh, uh, dreams me. Bloody amazing! I can't believe how wet it is. How much it's raining! I don't know why, but I really didn't expect that. Anyway, well, let's go and get some breakfast. Clarkson, come on! You know the joke is that they kill fish. They yeah, eat the heads of corn and the stab cows. Pretty yeah, hell, that's uh, quite mad. Lovely little bit. First couple of bits of bacon, that's sausage, that. fried bread, fried potato, scrambled egg, and bit bloody beans. I probably will go back in for seconds. And um, I've also got a secret plan. Let me turn you around, actually. Yeah, so about 4 a.m. last night, um, the cop was still really, really bothering me. £16.50. Uh, it just kept going through my mind. 1650, 1650, 1650, plastic cotton. Um, the only way I could make peace with myself was to come up with a way to kind of reclaw some of that money. This, this sounds like a bloody royal family. Uh, I don't know if you watch the royal family, but Jim Royal is quite a tight arse. I'm not saying no, that. Um... Uh, it just sounds like something Jim Royal would be obsessed over, except it would be a smaller amount of money and be like, £3.50, £3.50, £3.50 over and over again. Yeah. 16, I, I actually do understand completely where Callum's coming from. Oh, me too, yeah. For a plastic cup. Goodness gracious, that is ridiculous. I'd be very... I don't know, I don't know why he just didn't return it. I just feel like I'd be annoyed for th five hours, then I'd just forget about it and think, you know what, I've spent the money, whatever. It's been like four days thinking about it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so each meal time, the next nine meal times, um, I'm going to have an extra item that I don't need, that I'm not hungry, um, but I'm going to eat it just for the hell of it to, uh, to reclaw about a tenner of that money. Um, I did think about just, you know, taking an item and not eating it, but I don't want to waste food, not when there's people starving. So I'm just going to force an extra item down. For example, once I finish this breakfast, I'm going to go in and have a cake. Hit the starving, I should eat something. A verbo is for sure. You really are one of the geniuses of our time, George. I mean... Uh, I know, man. Next level intelligence right there, pal. I'm going to eat it for the hell of it. I will reclaim some of that body and at least find some peace, some inner peace. Uh, I finished my breakfast. I just thought I'd come up here and have a little look at Vigo. It's still raining. It's still peeing down. And I do feel a bit sick. I um, I forced a nice bond down as part of my... It looks like a really lit version of uh, Dead. <coughs> it looks like Barnstable, but with more boats, more tall buildings, and uh, a few extras. I'd say probably ships. more like Port Smith than Dead. Because of all them uh, ships. Oh, shit, yeah, there is a shit ton of ships. I might look up Portsmouth. I don't think Portsmouth would be too much of a bad bee now, to be fair. Probably not. I've been there. It's not the best place. Oh. I mean, bloody hell, it, do, it does actually look quite good on Google. I mean, if you've already been there and it's not, I don't know, I guess we just have to see what the rest of the squad are thinking. Yeah, you never know. It's been a while. Mm -hmm. Early for a nice morning, then I was too full anyway, but we do what we've got to do, I guess, don't we? Yeah, this is Vigo Harbour. You see that there? That, that boat. Anyone from the Isle of Wight, can you tell me, is that a dead ringer for the red jet? To me, it looks like the red jet, but obviously just a different colour. Uh, maybe it's not quite as much like the red jet as I thought. Now I'm looking at it. It's a bit like the red jet. Anyway, yeah, this is Vigo. Right, I'm going to go back inside now because it's been down. Right, I'm back in my cabin now, just letting my breakfast go down. Um, I am having a little bit of pooping paranoia. Um, I need to go back to my <coughs> house. It's time for my biological evacuation. Yet the um, the cabin steward is only one cabin open. I'm a bit worried that if I go in there and start the process, which isn't a process that can be paused or reversed, um, I might get the knock at the door. So I'm just, yeah, just trying to hold it off at the moment, sitting down. All right, I'm just chilling out up in the um, the greenhouse area, staring longingly down at the pools. I do want to fill them up at some point. Um, also, looking at the hot tub, has got massive plans to get in one of those. Is it even a holiday if you don't get wet? I'm not quite sure it is, in my eyes anyway. I love a swim, I love a hot tub. So, yeah, that's definitely on the kind of agenda for today. Um, in a bit of a contemplative mood, really, I'm feeling I'm feeling super relaxed. I don't know whether I've ever been this relaxed on holiday. And yeah, I'm on holiday. It's a relaxing thing. You should be relaxed when you're on holiday. But normally when I'm away, 
I've got this kind of gnawing worry within the pit of my stomach. Like, oh, I've got to get home. I've got the flights back. They're going to be a nightmare. Your luggage and everything. Bro, that's another fantastic thing about cruises, isn't it, man? Like, there isn't that end worry of having to fart around getting back to where you need. I mean, there is a bit of that because I guess if you're in the UK, you end up at Portsmouth or Southampton or wherever. Um, you know, you probably are, you're a little bit like, oh, I've got to get back to where I need to. But I suppose for Callum, yeah, that's a city taxi, I think so. Yeah, but I suppose for Callum, he lives on the Isle of Wight. I guess when you get back to Portsmouth or Southampton, you just think to yourself, well, uh, if there's no trains running, just get a hotel or a whatever, or get a taxi to somewhere and then get a hotel. Yeah, we could do that either way. Exactly, yeah. So I suppose, but yeah, it's far easier than bloody thinking, oh, I've got to take 50 trains or take a bloody uh, plane, you know? Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's just a stressful experience, isn't it? You no, know, when you got to fly home, there is none of that here. Um, I just know in, uh, in 10 days, just going to sail back into Southampton, wander off and get the red jet back to the island. It's lovely, really nice. I was saying at the beginning of the vlog, quite often, uh, my anus, well, he's, he's kind of going like that. You know, I've got a lot going on in my mind, a lot of things that I'm aware of. And when I'm traveling, like I said, it's almost like the wings of a hummingbird, constant motion. Well, now <laughs> he's like that, still, still in stoical, you know, stoic, just on a watching brief, which, um, I guess makes sense for a big brown eye, doesn't it? He's, yeah, it's just proper chilled out, no movement at all. It's a lovely, lovely feeling. Yeah, I'm a big fan of cruising, I think. I, I'm going to leave this vlog here. Um, according to your feedback, you do prefer the more regular, shorter vlogs. Um, obviously, I'm here for another 10 days, so I'm going to carry on vlogging. Um, I am going to set myself back challenges and stuff, though. The next video, I think I'll probably um, make it a challenge video and see if I can... See if I can eat my cruise fare for the day back and um, see if I can get in profit. If I can eat enough food, <laughs> it would have cost me more than the 47 quid or whatever it is a night to, to stay on here. Oh. I think I can do it. That sounds legendary. Anyway, yeah, so there'll be more videos. Um, if you enjoyed this one, please do leave a like. If you didn't, please do like, you know, dislike. I always want your honest opinions. And if you've made it this far, thank you very much for watching. Yeah, that was great. That, like, that, was great. Fun. that was great, fun. Um yeah, you video. Video. it's unique because he's never done a bloody um cruise ship video before. Yeah, just really thoroughly, <coughs> just really enjoyed it. Me too, really enjoyed it. Um, I guess so. Obviously, no segments, but I did want to briefly talk about uh, a YouTuber who I used to watch when I was younger, Matt Pat, the game theory quitting youtube it was the first video of his i watched in absolute donkey's years um and yeah it was it was a sad emotional video um a part of me does think to myself like because the reason is he's like oh oh you know i don't actually i won't do an impression of him because that's more for entertainment jokey videos or podcasts basically he just sort of said look <laughs> i've spent the last x amount of years my whole life being centered around YouTube, doing business meetings constantly and talking about videos and all this nonsense. I just want staying to up all night as well. Staying up all night, yeah. But I don't see why he can't just, <coughs> I don't know, like a few months down the line, he could really regret this. I don't see why he can't just like make videos less frequently and just say, I'm really tired. Can we just do less videos? So there might be a video once every two months or something instead of once a week. Probably could have been bought out by a corporate, corporate company. Yeah, so yeah, I guess that makes a good point, and that's probably why he has to hand over the theory channels to someone else. But I, but I know what I, I think people do. The first thing that I think that I will is when he leaves, I won't I'll be watching the videos. Yeah, that's fair enough because it's never going to be the same with whatever new person there is. No. And at least with four he... different people on the four different channels. Yeah, and it's gonna at least he keep, he's gonna keep ticking over with his creative. He said he's making some series that he wants people to do theories on on that those channels. So yeah, uh, I don't know if it's a comic series or or some or some film series. I'm not sure or whatever. It is. There's some different things. There's an animated one. Uh, there's yeah. a sci-fi one as well. Yeah, I guess at least he's keeping himself ticking ticking over creatively. And I know a week ago some of the YouTuber packed in, didn't he? Yeah. But I never heard of him. Uh, yes, I am here. 
Um, thanks for the theories, Matt Pat. They were absolutely fantastic. I haven't watched them for years, but I did enjoy watching them. Uh, oh. A lot of effort goes. I normally watch them weekly, I have to say. Mm-hmm. A lot of effort goes into the videos. Um, but obviously, George, I'll let you have the floor for a bit as you're a bigger fan. You watched it weekly and you can just sort of say how you feel about him packing it in. Uh, to us, it, it, it wasn't real, basically. And when it first happened, but I was going to see where it's going from. So I think for me, when he leaves, there's no point in staying because it's not going to be the same channel or be any as good as what he did that's about it but yeah um well thank you for your words there george we'll leave that one there um that's all we've we'll got to part two. thank you so much for watching take care have a good one see you later Bye bye